welcome back to my youtube channel uh, my name is Tula Hanyo Mekoli if you're new here hi welcome you can call me Tuli please hit the subscribe button I would really really appreciate it if you can become part of this family and um, if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much for coming back I really really do appreciate it I appreciate you guys coming back if you're a new subby just hit me up in the comment section and say new subby here i love i really love interacting with new subbies and yeah i really appreciate you guys and what you guys do for me so i'm so close to being monetized we've already passed the thousand um subscriber mark so i'm very excited about that i think we're sitting on 1.2k subscribers and I just really want to express my gratitude. I really, really do appreciate you guys. I really, really don't take this for granted. I really enjoy coming here and spending time with you guys. I miss, with you guys, if it was possible then I would upload on a daily so I can update you because there's just a lot going on. So I'm really excited my career has taken my professional career has taken um a whole new leap i'm super excited um so I'm, i will also be speaking at a conference that i have been invited to by a client of mine and i'm really nervous i mean i'm already camera shy right it was a huge step for me to like be in front of the camera and just speak to you guys um but it's a whole nother level when I have to like now address um, people, people of status, important people in the country, decision makers of the country. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. This is um, an opportunity for me. This is something new. This is something that I've never done. I'm not really a presentations person because I really have stage fright. But I really hope that I would do well. Um, I'm not going to be long in this intro because I don't want to be late for my presentation. I will just put snippets of it here because I really didn't want to mix my YouTube channel with my professional work. But I'm really, really excited and I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys at the conference. And my colleague will tell us more on who is... Uh, Mrs. Macaulay. Tula Hanyo Macaulay, Senior Quality Engineer. Over to you, ma'am. Admirals. Um... Hey guys, so I just got back from the conference. Um, I just got home. I'm super exhausted. I just want to take a shower, take a nap, and wake up to cook later on. The conference really, really went well. Um, you know, the crowd engaged. They were very receptive of me, um, and that was my biggest fear. I'm not. I'm not really the most fluent person. I'm the most confident person, but I'm working on it. I I am very shy, but I will learn. I will be confident. I will just, you know, affirm myself. I am confident. I am worthy. I am fluent. I am a communication a vessel. I am... I can use my words. I can use my mouth. I, I am powerful. I can, I can deliver the message. I, and and you know what, guys? The biggest part of it all was that on my way there, um, you know, my husband kept encouraging me. No, you can do this. You'll be great. My colleagues as well um, kept on rooting for me. So I'm quite grateful for everybody else's support. Um, on the way there, I prayed. I prayed so much. I was like, God, I pray that you give you give these people the the power and the knowledge and you know the ears to receive me, to receive my message, to 
um, receive my energy. So, yeah, I I pray about everything. Prayer helps. It's comforting um, to have a space and a place in the Lord um, to know that, you know, we can do it all through him and it's just very comforting to know that you know he can give me the power he can give me the courage he can give me um the spirit of understanding give the people the spirit of of receiving the understanding of receiving the knowledge that that i that i am about to impart with them um so yeah it really really went well um i'm so happy I'm happy for the most part of it. I'm happy it's over. <laughs> I'm happy it's over, but it went well. Um, it wasn't really so bad. So hopefully I get to do a lot more of these just to practice and just to, you know, up my confidence. But I do want to say that, you know, being in front of the camera and, and talking to you guys really helps because I know I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to the camera, but um, it really helps to with the with the with trying to be fluent with trying to communicate and get the message across to people so YouTube has also helped me um, because I was like I am pretending that I am talking to my subscribers so yeah um, we also got a new fridge, which I'm really excited about. Um, I had always complained to my husband um, when it's month end, when we buy when when we buy groceries that you know we don't have enough space in the fridge. So we have a main fridge, and we in the house in the kitchen, and then we have another smaller fridge which is in the garage, right? Um, but the main fridge also has other stuff. You know, it's got like um frozen veggies it's got like frozen fruits for the smoothies it's got like a huge packet of chips it's got like burgers patties it's got like fish fingers it's got a whole lot of things and sometimes not enough for the meat and then the one drawer we use for ice so that actually also takes away some of the space and then we have a smaller fridge um in the garage where we also keep extra meat and all of that but i find that the amount of meat that that I buy at the end of the month sometimes doesn't fit. So it, it forces me sometimes to cook different types of meals at once. I'm not complaining, but you know what? Um, different types of meat because there's no space for it. So it doesn't, it leaves me with no choice but to cook it. Um, and then we also can't buy different types of things. Let's say we're having... Um, a gathering or just a small braai we cannot put drinks in the freezer because there's no space it's just meat there and sometimes everything is just frozen you cannot just remove and just replace with um and just put in your drinks and then later on you know it just doesn't work out um so yeah we decided to get a small deep freezer i will go and show you guys um and yeah let me go and show you guys i've already changed i've already put on um my pajamas at the bottom but let me go and show you guys let's go to the garage i'm super excited um my husband also bought <laughs> he bought a warthog guys a whole warthog um he said he was gonna go to the butchery this morning to get it cut but um, I'm not sure if he ended up going, but let's just go and check. Yesterday there was a huge warthog in the freezer and the freezer couldn't close. And I was like, this defeats the entire purpose of us getting a new freezer because then we just pumped it up with more new meat. And I don't know, guys, please. My husband, you know what? He has this obsession with a warthog. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> please just refer me to certain recipes if you guys have of how to prepare a warthog um with like cheese grillers and whatever whatever 
um, items that we can make out of the warthog. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the garage. So this is our fridge that's in the garage. Oh. Okay, so he took it out. So there was a whole warthog in here, guys. <laughs> I don't know where it went, but this is our new fridge. Um, I had asked him to take a video of of the fridge when it was getting delivered. So at least he really tried on the content side. Um, I will just show you guys what he took. <laughs> Hey guys, so the warthog is finally back and cut from the butcher. Sure, this is a lot, but yeah. So this is a full warthog. <laughs> I'm still waiting to find some recipes on how to cook this, but yeah, guys, please drop some recipes if you guys have. I would really, really appreciate it. Hey guys, so I'm at my gynae. I've currently got an implant on inserted in, but you know what? Let's talk contraceptives. So when it comes to me, my non-negotiables is this weight gain. <laughs> no, and my skin. If it messes with my skin and my weight, it must go. So I've had this implant on since May and I've gained over eight kilograms and it is the most depressing thing ever. Um, so now I'm here to insert my copper tea. Got it at this cam. You need a prescription for this. Um, so they're going to remove the implant on. They're gonna ma make a slit. They're gonna cut me open here on my arm and then remove the implant on and then put in the copper tea. What I love about the copper tea is that it doesn't have any hormones. So I think I've literally tried all available contraceptives in South Africa except for this. I've had the Mirena, I've been on the pill, I've been on the injections, I've had the patch, I've, yay, all of these things. <laughs> and um, so before before we insert this, I had a prescription from my gynae. I think the other box I threw away, they, they prescribed for me some Cytotec, um, some Sinaleave, these are like painkillers. These are two painkillers and then I'm supposed to drink them um, 30 minutes, an hour before the procedure. Um, I think I decided to take it to relax my cervix. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit scared <laughs> because I can remember the pain. and I'm just hoping it's not the same, but yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes after. Have you drove me there? Thank you so much, baby, for being such a present husband, an amazing husband. Yo, guys, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. See you later. Hey, guys, I just got back home from the doctor. Um, I'm in a little bit of pain. The procedure went well. Um, I've got my implant on removed and i've got my copper tea inserted it was fairly easy um it just feels like um very hectic period pains but i feel okay overall it didn't take long at all um but yeah i'm just gonna take a nap 
I'm just gonna rest and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's a brand new day. It's a Saturday today. I am going to be making oxtail and dumpling for my family for lunch. Um, and we're going to be making the fire outside. I asked my husband to help me with the fire outside. I told you guys I am in my uh, cooking outside in the fire girl era. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm just go we're just going to be making the preps for the outside fire thing and we're going to be using that boiki bok boiki bry thing that we that i bought the other day if you haven't watched that vlog please go back and watch that vlog um so that's what we're going to be using and we just want to do the prep work just before we shower because we don't want to smell like smoke and then um we'll just continue after that so i'll see you guys let me show you guys how we're prepping and then i'll see you guys after we shower we have our pot our size three pot it's clean happy washed it the last time and we've also got our boiki bride we're gonna put it to the test so i can't wait to do that i'm just gonna go inside the house and just brown some oxtail and then yeah and i am outside in the garden we've got some planted herbs so i'm just gonna take this rosemary and i'm going to put it in my pot i'm just, just gonna get a few branches i'm just gonna rinse it inside the house and then get them into my pot Mm. Just put inside the beef stock. Mm. Looks so dark. This is a good idea. Hey guys, so we are back from church. It's a Sunday. Happy Sunday to everyone. Um, so remember the last time, I'm super excited. The last time I, just, I told you guys I can't show you um, what handy and sent me because the campaign hadn't started yet and now the campaign has finally started so handy and sent me this beautiful beautiful package how cute is their packaging it's so amazing it's so heavy um it's got like a handle and you just lift it up so it's super super amazing handy and now has a brand new look and they sent me this eucalyptus cream um, and the lavender cream and the bathroom cleaner which is amazing i'm super excited to try all these products um uh, floor cleaner and multi-purpose cleaner and um, they also sent me this microfiber cloth i love microfiber cloths um they also sent me this window and glass cleaner then they also sent me this kitchen cleaner which is amazing I, I found that I was also struggling to find like a brand that caters for all household surfaces. So I'm super excited to be trying this out. I will be giving you guys also a review. Um, this is not a sponsored video by Handy Andy. So I'll be giving my honest um, opinion about all of these products because I'm running a three part series video. Check out our homepage, please. Um, I will put it up on screen if you don't follow us already at Macaulay Home. Um, 
and yeah please comment please like please just interact on the video guys um and let us know what you think um so today as i mentioned it's a sunday yesterday we were making we made oxtail so we never got to eat the oxtail because we went to a braai um so today i'm just gonna make some dumpling and some what should i make i think i'll make chakalaka and i'll also make a potato salad that we can eat with the oxtail and yeah i think i'll take you guys with me as i'm cooking so cheers i'll see you then i'll see you in the kitchen So I have already cut everything for the chakalaka, grated my carrots and my robot peppers and onion and I will just put everything in the pot.
I saw the warthog is back. Mm. What is your obsession? What is the obsession with the warthog? Please. Like, you know, I love pork, babe. All things pork. Like, I think it's such an elite. Like, pigs are as filthy as they are. I think I like. <laughs> the elite, ne? Such an elite animal. God knew. He was in his bag. He knew exactly what he was doing. <laughs> pork chops, bacon, pork trotters. Mm. Tloko, the head. Ah, oh, man. Like, yo, man, pork. Like, it just. It, Everything it, it doesn't miss, bruh. Like it just slips. So I've always like wanted to try warthog, and I thought, you know what? So you decided to buy a whole warthog, Trans like on yeah. every drama. Why is it? Decided to like, buy an entire warthog. I was like, why not? <laughs> Look, we got some chops. We got some string pork. You know, I mean, on every drama. Why is it? Remember, babe, a whole babe, one. Remember, babe, the pig. I don't yes. Kind of warthog in Kipumba, ne? Yeah. No, it's Pumba. Pumba, yeah. So <laughs> I'm keen to have some Pumba. Long overdue, actually. Guys, I really feel like my husband on a drama because Guys, there's absolutely no need pork. for a whole, but a whole warthog, baby. I mean, you know, have I ready to go check us, right? So, you know, somebody had to hunt for it, you know, got one, and here we are. Took it to the butcher, sliced up nicely. Now we've got pork chops, warthog chops. And we'll talk stewing pork. So I'm um, man. I'm, Guys, please I'm, drop those I'm recipes. Excited. Or, or do no, I cook in the same way? This guy gave me. This guy gave me a recipe. Actually, we'll vlog it. Another really? Time. Yeah. No. Oh, I guys, know. in the next vlog, next vlog, I'm excited. We'll talk. Well, now our next vlog, we're gonna have we'll talk chops on the bride. Yes. We're gonna have some people over. Uh huh. And I will guide you through. Next weekend. Yeah. We're gonna, okay. We're gonna marinate it. And but there's a process. Well, I don't okay. want to divulge too much now. We'll talk about it next time. Okay, okay. <laughs> but pork See you is, guys. Pork is the best, guys. You know. Yeah. This, okay, <laughs> guys. I think this is the end of the of my vlog today. Thank you so so much for coming back. I love you 
so so much we just got back from church oh guys let me show you my outfit for church before we close baby please come and vlog oh my god oh hey guys let me put the baby bag down and this mango frappe it's not part of the why don't you put the other bag down no because this is part <laughs> of my outfit kidding i'm wearing my woolly sandals i'm wearing my bodycon dress from um Marabastad, I'm wearing this shirt. This is from where is this from, baby? H and M. H and M. And I am carrying my Never Fall. So I'm just looking very casual today from church. And yeah, guys, this is me signing out. Cheers. I love you. I will see you guys in the next vlog.